What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mustang214 coming in with another video. So today we have a Toyota Avalon. It's a 95. Uh, they brought it to me uh, with a couple of noises in the front. And the main reason why they brought it to me because they had an oil leak and, and they kept seeing it in the driveway. So what we're going to do is uh, get the car already set up and get the wheels on. Uh, we already have parts for the car already. Already diagnosed it, already drove it, already know where the oil leaks come from. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna make a quick video on the struts. I'm not gonna get too much in detail of where the oil leak is. It's coming from the valve cover. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with all that uh, recording on how to remove intake, upper intake plenum and get the valve covers off. So. What I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go over uh, replacing the front and the rear struts. Uh, they went ahead with and got quick struts for the front, so and then uh, regular struts from the back. So if you don't know what a quick strut is, I'll show you right quick. So stay with me. So guys, this is a quick strut, meaning it's already assembled, already has a top mount, spring and destroyed already. So you really don't have to break this one down. All you have to do is remove the other one, slap this one on, tighten it up, make sure it's tight, and go to the next side. So the difference from this one and a regular strut that you have to compress is this one. So this one, you nearly have to Go and break out your tool, compress the spring, get rid of the top mount, place your top mount, bearing, put your insulator on, spring, insulator on top, then top mount, and then tighten everything back down. So this is just a strut assembly, a regular strut assembly, where you do have to break it down. So that's the difference from a quick strut. So a lot of people tend to go this route to save them uh, time, uh, it is a little bit more cost effective on the quick struts because they, I believe they cost a little bit more because they got more components like the spring and, and the top mount. This right here, still a little costly because I think you can buy struts for around 70 bucks, 80 bucks, depending on the brand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get the wheels off, jump into this, and uh, I'm going to start with the front and then jump to the rear. All right, stay with me. Guys, we got the strut back in, so what we're gonna do is we're going to tighten these two bolts, get this brake line attached back on there. 
And like I said, this is not a very hard job. You just gotta have the right tools. So uh, I believe anybody can can do this. They just have the right tools, a little bit of patience, and you know, don't rush. Take your time. Up to the top, make sure you got that on there. Tighten these up. And that's it, y'all. Easy peasy. So, I hope I helped y'all. You know, this goes for any car that you doing struts on you know quick struts or just a strut assembly where you gotta remove everything like I showed y'all in the video but uh again if you haven't subscribed to the channel go hit that subscribe button like this video support your boy you know I got more stuff coming y'all so I got a few more cars I gotta work on over the week before I get ready to go back to work but uh you know we're gonna do what we gotta do keep pushing and I hope y'all had a good Christmas and, you know, Happy New Year if you're just now watching this. But uh, let's get better, you know, let's be better than we was yesterday. So, all right, y'all. So we need to uh, remove the back seats so we can get to the bolts for the rear struts. So what you're going to do is you're going to pry up here, here, and here to get the seat up. And once you get the seat up, just lift up these out of there. Like 12, 12, 14, so 12, 14s, and then get these bolts out, and then get this portion of the seat off.
back of this. Got a little clip. The whole seat back up on there. So just pry out and lift up. Now we can access these three bolts right here and the one over there. So if you don't want to know how to remove the seat on the Avalon, there you go.